Greetings and welcome to Autonauts episode 5. In the previous episode we managed to get stick production up and running and also metal ingots and charcoal up and running. We also had a lot more trees picked up so we have less just lying around on the floor right now which is excellent and we are actually keeping up with demand which is actually really good. We just got to now automate the metal uh, plate storage and their production and then we can get the beacons automated and then we can tell these guys to operate around a beacon instead of just this little area here because they're kind of ignoring the top half of the map which is kind of annoying also i would like to put in a couple of things with like the recharge box being aired so they don't end up uh, drifting away from the areas they cover which can happen sometimes what's happening up here clay all right so first thing up they need to get another box because we are you, are you programmed? You're not. Okay, you're my B90. You're the uh, general storage bot for the uh, metal plates. So, hey B90, how are you doing today? Got a bit of training to do. So, first thing is to come over here and then cycle an item. And then just ignore everything I've said. Is to pick up two items. Stow it. There we go. So, just move that one to there. That's how it's supposed to be. And then come to the bench. And get a plank, pick the plank up, put it in there. Simple as that. So let's just reprogram that a little bit, shall we? Thank you. Uh, we're going to make that move to metal storage, and then until the hands are full. I don't know how we can automate this one the best. Ooh, what would be the best way to automate this? One second. Just delete your program, maybe need to check something really quickly. You can pick up. Uh, so you need two for every one. So you can pick up three plates worth. Okay, I can work with that. How many of these can you pick up? Just two of these. Okay, so you can pick up, in essence, four plates worth. Can you pick up four plates is a question. Find out. Can I pick, the question is, can I pick up four plates worth, really? And then, do, I, just get, I always have a bike in my hand as well, which is, Annoying that I can't grab the bottom here. There we go. Now, can I pick up four plates? I think I can. I can, good. So that means you can as well. So, your job, my friend. Come over here. Pick one of these. Stow it. Pick up another one. Just so we've got it stored. But don't you do it twice, though. So do that, do that, do that. Do that until your hands are full. There we go. Then... Then go to this one here and drop off the item, cycle an item, and do this until your hands are empty. Like that. Then, then I want you to go pick that up and do that entire section there. Hang on a minute. It should be four times. It should, actually, it should be two hands are full, basically, actually. Your hands are full. Uh, and then drop a point to there. And this one here will be until your hands are empty, because you're not going to be able to have any storage for these, because you won't be able to carry enough metal to uh, do that. You'll do all of this until that storage there is full. There we go. And just to make sure we didn't pick up, we did. I wasn't sure if they were picked up. There we go. And do all that again forever. Go. So we should fill up his, in his entire inventory plus his hands. <clears throat> then you should go and make four planks. And then pick up the four planks up and put them into storage. If it all works well, we're on the way. One, two, three, four. And then. Excellent. Then all four away, and then back to Philip again. Perfect. All right. That is going really well. Now, we probably do need to get more metal production up and running, to tell you the truth. I would much appreciate that, actually. Can we bring uh, another bot this way? The charcoal's going really well. Metal production is a bit low, so I'm actually going to go and grab two bots to just increase the metal throughput. Um, why are you not doing anything? Uh, stone storage. Uh, stone storage is full. Oh, right. Stone. We need to find a way to get rid of stone. 
See, the problem is this guy does produce stone and metal. We are now staffed for metal. Um. Okay. Yeah, we're now staffed for metal because we don't have enough metal plates. Oh, uh, ingots. Is there a way to increase the likelihood of getting metal? Because stone is something I just don't need. And it's something that's going to be on the floor for a very long time, just clotting up the place. Hmm. I honestly don't know if there's a way to get rid of stone. Can we grind it into something? Hi, robot. Okay, well, for when we do get it, but we, I, can't, I can't even set the guy up because I have no ingots to work with. Hmm. I could change it to be metal, but the problem with... And we, I'm going to I'm gonna have to do... Uh, until metal water is full, until stone storage is full. I'm going to have to just remove that stone storage request. Stop. Reprogram. Take that away. There we go. Start digging. We're going to have a lot of stone just laid on the floor right now. So to help combat that temporarily, I am going to pop down just over here, out of the way, because no one cares about it. Uh, a couple of like dead end storage things for stone. Uh, yeah, down here will be fine. Uh, is my producer coming down here? He is not. Well, these require four planks each. I can go grab some planks. And I can stow them. And then some more. So I just want to get these to make stone, hold stone. And then cycle them, and then go grab some more. And this is all I want to do is just make sure we have enough uh, <clears throat> stone storage. So there we go, and one stone would be absolutely perfect. Can I not pick up a stone? No, because I have wood in my inventory. Damn it! All right, come on down, come on down. Fill these ones up as well. And then that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. That's a bicycle. Try it again. There you go. Now go pick up a single stone. Because <clears throat> a single stone is actually all you need here. Drop into that, drop into that, drop into that, drop into that. Here we go. Pick it up, put it there, pick it up, put it there. Now we've got 500 stone stories now. Which means stone, in theory, shouldn't back up the system too much. There we go. And that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to leave these guys as they were. I'm going to put you up here. Because you're going to be my beacon producer. I do need a, a warehouse back here, though. Um, camera angle? Nope. Okay. Well, oh, hi. Dun, 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 dun. So the output's back here. Okay. Um, so I need a beacon. A beacon. I need a storage. Basically there for beacons. Look at my little builder man. Hey builder man, love you. Right, four metal planks, four metal poles. So I need where are you? Oh I got you with me, didn't I? There you are, hello! Right you I need you to go here. Pick up that one. Now, I'm going to dump all that for a minute and just say pick up a pole. And then run over here. Put it in there. And I'm going to tell you at this point to do that one until your hands are full. And do that one until your hands are empty. And then I'm going to do that. And then ask these to be removed because these are just me putting those in there anyway. Done. Then we're going to do exactly the same thing with plates. Come over here, grab a plate. And the same thing again, just dump the excess because I don't need that many of them. No cycling on this one either, just go and do. And then over here. Now what I could have done, if I were doing smart about it, is preloaded the uh, assembler with like most of the items. Move to assembler, add to assembler. Uh, to work with something? Yeah, apparently. Boop. And then should be a beacon back here. Probably there. But in there. Now let's get this one. So that piece there, move to beacon, do that until your hand is full. Move to there, do until your hands are empty. 
find beacon, move to beacon, pick up beacon, move to storage, put in storage. All that's fine, do that until beacon storage is full. Then repeat that forever. Go, my friend. Dun, 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 dun. And then he picks up four, six, runs off, puts four, six inside, runs off, gets four planks, four plates, not planks, dun, 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 dun. runs back, puts them inside, bum, 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 bum. finishes the thing, goes and gets it, puts it in the box. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we'll pick one of them up, and we're going to come over here. Do, 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 do. Do we do 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 plump? You know what? Pick that up. One square at a time. There we go. Right. So this lot here needs to be slightly reprogrammed to stay within range of the beacon. This is going to be fun. Where's my chopper? You chopper. Uh, log storage is full. Hands are full. Tree pine. That within range of the beacon. Stop. Program that one. In range of beacon. That one. In range of the beacon. How do you make him do beacon stuff? Oh, I wasn't. I was holding the beacon. Fine. Boop. In range of the beacon. And nothing else here should be done. So continue. That means he should, in theory, go over there now as well. Next person up is. Hey, Diggy. Could you stop program within range of the beacon? There you go. That should mean you'll be able to go up there as well. Um, who's planting? Well, you're the recharge bot, right? Add log to storage. Yep. Uh, stop program. Uh, where's the one? Add log to storage. Move log to storage. Find nearest log within range of the beacon. There we go. Hey, Robo Man! Stop program. Find nearest log in range of beacon. There we go. So I'm not reprogramming all these guys I can't I won't find them all. But I'm reprogramming the ones that I can see right now. Find seed hole in range of beacon. There you go. So you should be able to go up here now as well. Uh, I don't know where you've gone. Oh you're picking more seeds up, it's fine. And then you should start filling those up. I think that's you. Uh, I also need to tell you to pick up um, seeds within range of the beacon as well. And there we go. Now that's not all of the uh, pickers, so what do you can do? You're the log guy, so yet you're on the same thing within range of the beacon. That didn't work. Within range of the beacon. Go. And then you, who just sat here, you're the winder. Ah, excellent. You're the uh, the winder. There we go. You stay near that beacon. That keeps everyone in the same area, hopefully. Um, I think I've got everyone, but I think there's one more person out there I don't have control of right now, which is fine. In fact, the simple way to program and test this is to take this lot over to that lot over there and see how they react. But I don't really want to do that right now. I'm happy to leave them alone. Um... It appears we don't have a winder bot over here, though. Do we not have a winder bot over here? What's your... Uh... Hi. So what's your... Don't program him. You! Aha! Right. Stop. Where are you? I lost him. It's you, isn't it? But I need another beacon. I need to make sure he stays in this area. Uh, over here. And I want you to... This beacon here is going to cover this area. Plop the, the working area. Right. So that'll be you when you move out of the way. You. Yes, you're fine. There is working bot. Uh, programming. Area. Beacon. Go. All right, now what I need to do is get another worker bot over here and have you set for the same thing, just wind people up in the nice way of winding people up. Uh, I want you to find people that are running low. Where am I? N no, that's a move too. Where's the one that says wind up? How do you wind somebody up? 
Nope. I didn't do the wind up. Did it, oh, well, you didn't yet. Recharge, uh, repeat, use, store, cycle, repeat. No. Um, I don't know how to get them to do the wind up without actually seeing somebody who needs winding up. That's kind of annoying, actually. Um, I just want to tell you to wind somebody up. And I'm clicking on you, but nothing happens. Damn it! Oh, this is annoying. Right, I need to find somebody who's low on energy and wind them up. Is there anybody low on energy? Yes! Run, 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 run! Damn you. I just want to find nearest I don't know. Not... Damn it! Alright, how do you wind somebody up? I mean, they've done it before, you're just clicking yourself normally, but it seems to not be working. Okay, I can't seem to create a winder bot. That's a problem. I mean... Okay, ready, ready. Come on, where's the... Oh, show me three soil on the... Where's the guy before the... Uh, if I can get to him. There we go. Recharge worker bot. Okay, got it. So that... Can go away. That... Is in range of... Do it forever. Don't do anything right now though. Where, where are you right now? Where are you right now? You are that guy there. Is it you? Mate 7? You've got no programming. Why are you got no programming you? I didn't cancel your programming. I hate the bots right now. Uh, you. You have a program to do it. That's fine. Now, the problem is the guy over here... Um... He picked my beacon up, it was over here. So I'm going to put the beacon... Is that going to be a safe place to put the beacon? Because the guy that was up here, he... Um, after he made the beacon, he came down here to get it. I think his program is just a little bit on the fast side. That's a blueprint guy. Where's the guy that does the beacon building? That'd be him actually there. Uh, beacon, yes, okay. Build that, and I need to put a little bit of a wait timer in place, that's all. I need a small wait uh, until there, and then here, give them a two second delay for them to be able to build the actual uh, beacon. You're an idiot. Metal plates, please put them away. There we go. Right, so yeah, he, uh, he was basically making him too fast. What's the problem? You're carrying... Plate pulled right now. And it needs four plates. I really... The problem is changing anyone's programming. Just ever so slightly it will affect the entire process. Need one more... Did I not pick up plates? We just don't have enough plates. Oh. We're actually out of plates. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, okay, I just need one more plate to get this done. The problem is these guys are nicking it all. So give me your inventory. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'll take that plate. Thank you. You can continue your job. This place will make me beacon, which I'm going to pick up. Okay, hang on a minute. Where's he going? Okay, he's going to go try and do that. Beacon in the box. There we go. Okay, so hopefully he won't go nicking that beacon again because we've got two second delay on building now. There we go. Uh, so we have beacons automated. We have these guys attached to a beacon now. You pick. You know. What's your programming like? You're a recharge box, fine. Okay. And there. Fine up there. 
These guys are okay down here. We have one recharge bot hopefully down here. If I can program you to do recharging, that'd be great. Okay, I don't know how to do the recharging anymore. Uh, it used to be just clicking yourself, but apparently that's been removed for the item. Which means I'm going to find it very, very difficult to recharge people. Anyway, you can go back in the box for now. Until we can find a use for you. Okay, so we have metal processing up and running. We just have a slight problem of lack of metal. Um, what would be the best thing to do here? I actually just need more battle throughput because we actually have nine at the moment. Okay, so let's um, build one of these things now. Where's my crude furnace? Um, we'll pop that. And you know what? Let's put it like ooh, that, 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 like that. I like to have them sort of face each other. I, mean, I could put another one here. I don't feel. Oh, we should do it. Uh, five clay. Okay, let's run and get five clay. We don't use play that often, so I'm not going to worry about uh, it being a problem. Let's run down here, but uh, being automated for that. But I am going to get my uh, my guys to come and uh, be cool about something. Go get the clay. And we've got one more put in here. Charcoal's doing well. So you're going to be told to make metal. And I'll get my robot friend back and we'll program him to make more metal plates. Hi hi. You. Your job. Go there. Pick up a metal ore. Put it in there. Pick up a charcoal. Put it in there. Wait for a second. I feel like it's a two second wait, personally. Then pick up the metal. Then put it in there. Repeat that until the storage is full. Repeat that forever. Go. Excellent. Then wait and then go and move. Perfect. You're doing a good job, my friend. Uh, don't need more charcoal, that's fine. Um, we can make clay pots and clay and flower pots, so we can do those later. But right now, that one's just going to be left turned off. I think we're okay. We're not going to be able to have enough metal supply at the moment to keep those guys up and running. Uh, so we'll keep an eye out for anybody who doesn't have a recharge. A recharge bot with no recharge ability is going to be a problem. Uh, why do you not dig? I would have thought you'd have filled it up afterwards. Huh. Well, you probably did actually pretty quickly. Anyway, we now have the uh, metal producing, which is good. And that is definitely going to help these guys out with making plates and stuff, because they're... Well, the plates are kind of the ones that are having the issue, because they take two things. Uh, I am going to go grab a beacon, though. And come over here. This is my construction beacon. Which can, can I name it? Inventory beacon. Can I name you? No. I feel like I should be able to name it. We say unnamed on it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, put the beacon down. Hey, you. Could you find nearest blueprint? Record nearest blueprint near the beacon. Now, that lock storage there, could that be any lock storage within range? No, okay. I was kind of hoping that there would be any lock storage in range, but no, it's a particular one by the it. Either way, f you go fill yourself up. I need to go and grab Sticky over here, and you're going to be also attached to that, that beacon. That didn't actually work. Why are you staring at me? Okay, to the beacon, continue, off you go. I didn't get Sticky, that's the problem. Uh, you, there's blueprint from near the beacon. Off you go. And there's, there's Planky. Hey, Planky. You also want to be near the beacon. There you go. So that should be all of the builders. <clears throat> all now set up to be pretty good. 
Uh, I would like to set up a recharge bot to be near the workers as well, but uh, right now I haven't got a way to set up the recharge command, which is really annoying. Um, but there we go, we have a, a beacon there for that. So, for example, we could now take him down to here that like we did before. And we'd all be good. But that is, that's my construction beacon. I'm going to pick that up and just put it over here out of the way so they don't go and do something stupid like put it in the box. Uh, they shouldn't actually be able to do that now, it's been tagged, I don't think. But uh, we'll find out later. Okay, next up on our list of things is to automate more of these, actually. Um, let me put some of these down. What is that? A clay station. Ooh. And a crude kill. Things to be doing. But I need more metal benches, so give me another one of them. Up and running, and we'll uh, just go see what we can put into here. There we go. And they're building it for me. And auto build. I love auto build. So yeah, we can definitely get them to make metal gears and metal uh, gears. We're, we're gonna need metal gears for steam robots. They're gonna be amazing. And better tools, um, saw blades and shears. Yes, we have a lot of things to be doing very very shortly. We're gonna be uh, shearing sheep and making clothing for people. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. But that's gonna be it for the next episode. Until then, let me know what you think of the game and what you think of the content in general in the comments. I do read all the comments and I do pay attention to what people say, so uh, please do. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.